a mixture. On there, leave plenty of space between them because they do spread an awful lot. Okay. Oh, this colour is amazing. Is that enough? Yep, that's fine. Plenty of space, so I should just do two. Oh, I think they spread a lot. You'll be asking for trouble. <laughs> right. Okay, here's my syrup. Uh, this is actually one that we've already done. It's cooled down slightly. It's been strained. Okay. And I'm just going to pour it over the oranges. And what I would normally do is leave that for at least an hour and just let it chill lightly. Sorry. So let me just pop that in the fridge. Right, so what happens to these biscuits now? Pop them in the oven, 170 degrees right. for 10 to 12 minutes. In an hour? Pop them in. <laughs> right, so tell me this story right. about so that when you, you made these once. Yeah, some, okay, it's a very some story, fiasco. Yeah. Easter Monday it was, funnily enough, right. a few years ago. And I thought I'd get ahead and I made the syrup in advance. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and you know, I was so stupid. I was in a hurry, it was late at night. I left the syrup out in the kitchen overnight. For spring, ants All right. came down next day and I said, Terry, I was late, I'm always late. Uh, and getting lunch ready and I had lots of people coming around, including a photographer, which is particularly unfortunate. And uh, threw the oranges in, poured the syrup over Full them. Full of ants. And uh, yeah, you... I actually got as far as serving it. And my, my cousin was take, just about to take her first mouthful and she said, Sophie, to be answered. Could you not pass them off as, as vanilla? Oh, well, I thought maybe Possibly. a few bits of cracked pepper, but, yeah. you know, cracked pepper Absolutely. doesn't usually have legs in it. So there we go. We've got uh, a little bit of the orange zest, blanched. Right, and these are the, the lace cookies. And these are some cooked lace cookies. Some of those incredibly healthy. Actually, they're delicious because there's so much butter and sugar in them. Absolutely. Very, very incredibly healthy, Stephanie. Yeah, well, I, like to, I like to kill myself. Very, very straightforward. Very straightforward. It's fresh. It's lively. Brilliant. To make Sophie's pudding, buy blood oranges and rosemary from the greengrocers. You'll also need some caster sugar and black peppercorns. For the biscuits, you'll need rolled oats, plain flour, vanilla extract, and make sure you're well stocked with butter and eggs.